one of the things that I think is really powerful about um, the AI mirror metaphor is it explains the uh, potential that these tools have uh, to lure us into a, a kind of fascination that turns into um, a distortion of our reality and a failure to remain connected uh, with the reality of who we are and how we, we live in the world. And that's something that happens in the story of Narcissus, where Narcissus becomes, um, he, he doesn't just fall in love with his own image in, in the lake, he's convinced that there's another boy mm. looking back at him in the reflection, right? He, he doesn't see himself in the reflection. Mm. He imagines he sees another boy who is so beautiful that he's uh, obsessed with this boy in the water and he's calling to him and hearing the echoes of his own voice coming back and, and believing that he's making this connection with this other beautiful soul. And I realized when um, many of you will have heard of the uh, moment when the Google researcher Blake Lemoyne uh, was testing an early version of a generative AI tool called uh, Lambda at Google and decided that um, it was conscious and sentient uh, and that it had human rights and that it was, I mean, he imbued it with all of this um, personhood mm -hmm. that everyone who knew how the, else who knew how the technology worked knew it couldn't have in it mm -hmm. because of, 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 of the, the barrenness of what the technology actually was. But he was convinced, and the funny thing about that is that Blake Lemoyne was a seasoned Google engineer. This was not a naive person. Mm -hmm who was just ignorant. This is a knowledgeable expert person who was so captivated by this illusion that he couldn't separate himself from it. And so it really reminded me of Narcissus, right? The power of these things to convince us that there's a mind on the other side. And so I, I like using the, the mirror metaphor because you know that when you look in your bedroom mirrors or your bathroom mirrors, you know there's not a body on the other side, right? You know that the image is not a second body but we're already being told that the images being reflected of you know, the humans that make up all of the data that we've collected, we're already being told that the reflections of that that we get on our, on our chat GPT apps are a, another intelligence, another mind, an alien machine uh, uh, presence, right? That is mm -hmm. fascinating and powerful and mysterious and might kill us or might save us, right? But all of that is an illusion. It's, it's as much an illusion as, the illusion that captivated Narcissus. 